Being realistic is the most commonly traveled road to mediocrity. Greatness is not this uh, wonderful, esoteric, elusive, uh, godlike feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very simple. This is what I believe, and I'm willing to die for it. Period. We didn't grow up uh, with the sense that where we were was where we were going to be. You know, we grew up with the sense that where we were almost didn't matter because we were becoming, we were becoming something greater. The separation of talent and skill is one of the, 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 the greatest misunderstood concepts for people who are trying to excel, who have dreams and want to do things. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. I've, I've never really viewed myself as particularly talented. Where I excel is ridiculous sickening work ethic. You know, while the other guy's sleeping, I'm working. While the other guy's eating, I'm working. There's no easy way around it. No matter how talented you are, your talent is going to fail you if you're not skilled. You know, if you don't study, if you don't work uh, really hard and dedicate yourself to being better every single day, you'll never be able to communicate with, with people, with your artistry the, the way that you want. So the only thing that I see that is distinctly different about me is I'm not afraid to die on a treadmill. You might have more talent than me, you might be smarter than me, but if we get on the treadmill together, right, there's two things. You're getting off first, or I'm gonna die. It's really that simple. You don't try to build a wall. You don't set out to build a wall. You don't say, I'm going to build the biggest, baddest, greatest wall that's ever been built. You don't start there. You say, I'm going to lay this brick as perfectly as a brick can be laid. Yeah. And you do that every single day. And soon you have a wall. And soon you have a wall. I want to represent an idea. I want to represent possibilities. I want to represent the idea that you really can make what you want. One of my favorite books is The, the Alchemist, uh, Paolo Coelho. And that's just, I just believe that. I, I believe that I can create whatever I want to create. The first step before anybody else in the world believes it, is you have to believe it. There's no reason to have a plan B because it distracts from plan A. Confucius said, uh, he who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. So if you want to make six figures, you can't just be talking about you want to make six figures. You hear what I'm saying to you tonight? If you do the three things I tell you to do tonight, I guarantee you, whatever it is you want to do in life, you'll be able to do. You will be able to accomplish whatever you want to academically, financially, relationally, whatever. So three things. All right, I'm going to tell you the story. I got to get out of here. And the story is about, you guys have probably heard about this before. It was a, it was a young man who, you know, he wanted to make a lot of money. And so he went to this guru, right? And he told the guru, you know, I want to be on the same level you are. And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach at 4 a.m. He liked the beach. I said, I want to make money. I don't want to swim. Guru said, if you want to make money, I'll meet you tomorrow. 4 a.m. 
So the young man got there at 4 a.m. He all ready to rock and roll, got on the suit, should have worn shorts. The old man grabs his hand and said, how bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. He said, walk on out in the water. So he walks out into the water. Watch this. When he walks out into the water, it goes waist deep. So he's like, this guy crazy. Adrian, he's like, I want to make money. He got me out here swimming. I didn't ask to be a lifeguard. I want to make money. He got me in. So he said, come out a little further. Walked out a little further. Then he had it right around this area. The shoulder area. So this old man crazy. He's making money, but he's crazy. He said, come on out a little further. Came out a little further. It was right at his mouth. My man like, I'm about to go back in here. This guy is mine. So the old man said, I thought you said you wanted to be successful. He said, I do. He said, walk a little further. He came, dropped his head in, held him down, hold him down. My man getting scratched it, holding him down. I got you. I know you brushed it out, but I got you. He had him held down. I need you for an illustration. He had him held down just before my man was about to pass. For those don't believe us, it's 4.05 a.m. And we're still out here grinding. Success doesn't sleep. You can't make your dreams happen while you're asleep. Gotta wake up, stay awake, take a 20 minute nap, wake up and grind again. Keep grinding all night long is what we do, baby, let's go.